This is the Texas Tech Physicians Medical Minute. With the winter season, many people are headed up to the mountains to enjoy the winter weather. Texas Tech physician Dr. Sharmila Disanaki says to be aware of cold-related injuries Jack Frost can bring. So cold-related injuries are not as severe as frostbite. Um, they happen in slightly lower temperatures, but they're much more common for that reason. They present mainly with pins and needles, numbness in the extremities, usually the hands, sometimes the face, the nose, and the cheeks as well and uh, they can cause long-term chronic problems and hypersensitivity to cold. So even though they're not as severe as frostbite, it's important that you take steps to try and prevent them. One key to avoiding freezing cold injuries is to stay dry, dress appropriately. If you're on a hiking trip, take extra socks and gloves. If you get wet from the snow, your extremities will begin to feel the effects. If you are with a companion who shows symptoms of cold-related injuries, do not begin to warm them up unless you're at a location where they can remain warm. Many people make the mistake of warming a person up and heading back into the cold environment to get to safety. Dr. Disanaki says to only warm up a person if they can remain warm. Exposing them back to the cold immediately will cause damage to the body. Dr. Disanaki also warns that people with darker skin are more susceptible to cold-related injuries than whites. To prevent further injuries from the cold, seek warm shelter immediately, drink warm liquids, and get dry. Aspirin can help control the pain you may experience. Make sure to see a physician if symptoms continue. This Medical Minute has been brought to you by Texas Tech Physicians. Expert care from a name you trust.